So I'm Baron Midkiff, and I'm Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Central and Eastern Europe for John Cockerell Defense. We celebrated 200 years in business in 2017. At that time, we were known as Cockerell Maintenance and Engineering, or CMI. So if you Google CMI, you'll find that the very first thing that pops up is Cummings, Inc., because it's their ticker on the stock exchange. CMI has a lot of different companies for initials and a lot of different exposure. And the board and the leaders of our company thought a company with 200 years of history, of proud history, should have a brand that is recognized. And so we reverted to the name of our founder, which is John Cockrell, who was an industrialist who came from England, settled in Belgium, was revolutionary as an industrialist, and Cockrell at that time started a fully integrated process from mine to steel to trains and train rails. Uh, we are a specialized company. We specialize in weapon systems and turrets specifically from 25 millimeters up to 120 millimeters. So what you can see is that an armored vehicle without a turret is nothing more than an armored taxi. The combat in a combat vehicle comes from the integration of various systems and mainly the weapon system. So we are very specialized in that. We are platform agnostic. Uh, we are built on a modular concept. And so we're able to modify our weapons and our weapons effects to the user's requirement. We can go from 25 millimeter or more standard in this configuration that you see behind me is a 30 millimeter ATK Mark 44S. And that system is the NATO standard as far as 30 millimeter cannons. But we know the threat doesn't rest and neither should our response. We're always looking for overmatch. So in the 1990s, it was very common for armored personnel carriers to go out with a 12.7 millimeter. Now, today, the standard is 30 millimeter. Where will it go tomorrow? ATK has already demonstrated a 50 millimeter. And with the ability to combine under one turret the effects of a 30 millimeter and a 105 assault gun, you have a truly combined arms force, which is able to support itself in the field when it's necessary to knock down walls, to take out hardened armor targets or bunkers, uh, this type of effect on the battlefield. Because we're built on a modular concept, um, you can have the medium caliber turrets and a manned or an unmanned configuration. You can stretch that all the way up to the 90 or the 105, which are combat systems which are currently state-of-the-art as manned configurations. Having the ability to tailor the requirement and the systems for the customer and tailor the protection level is something that we pride ourselves on. I had some people in Commercy, France with us where our campus cockerel is who said, I've seen a lot in my lifetime, but I have never seen something like this. And so we own a company called Agaris, which is a full simulation capacity. Uh, we have embedded simulation in our turrets. We have standalone simulation, and we have Campus Cockerel, which is a training site where you can train an entire unit. So you can train from the platoon, from the company, all the way up to the battalion level at a live-in site where your job is 24-7 to learn the systems, learn them well, learn how to maintain them, learn how to support them, and best of all, learn how to fight them because our live fire range is less than an hour away from the campus. As a full systems provider, we have the ability to produce, we have the ability to maintain, and we have the ability to revise or modernize in the future. What you're looking at in the economics of this is a 30 to 50 year life cycle. In a 30 to 50 year life cycle, you're gonna need flexibility, you're gonna need modularity, and Cockerell brings that. We've been making large caliber cannons since 1890. We have a little bit of experience in this field, and we consider ourselves to be one of the premier high pressure, low recoil cannons in the world today. Well, what's important is this is a 105 rifled cannon 
which provides accuracy well beyond 3,000 meters. For the 105, this is a high pressure system, which was not the case in what people remember as far as the M60s of the era, which were equipped with 105s. The ballistic protection, the range, the accuracy of this cannon is far superior. With more modern ammunitions, we are capable of defeating most of the armored vehicle threats and certainly uh, armored bunkers or prepared bunkers and also uh, we can get through reinforced concrete while taking out the, the metal inside the concrete as well, allowing an opening that infantry can pass through. So this is a perfect assault gun, it's affordable. Um, again, when you talk about weapons, when you talk about economics, it comes down to how many bullets can you put in your vehicle and how much do those bullets cost. And the 105 is very cost effective and it's making a comeback being on the Haramal in Indonesia is a medium tank. Our 105 has successfully fired all the U.S. ammunition in this past year during trials. So we're very, very proud of this cannon. Well, we happen to be in the Czech Republic, so I'll use the Czech uh, mechanized forces as an example. They currently have the Pandor 2 vehicle, which is an 8x8, which is capable of having, we have actually fired the 105 from the Pandor 2, and so it could have our medium caliber 30 on top of it, as well as some assault gun capability for the 8x8. You can transfer the very same turret over to the tracked vehicle, which is the infantry fighting vehicle tender, which is currently ongoing. And there are plans for a medium tank discussion versus a main battle tank discussion. So you could possibly have all of your vehicles using one family of turrets with 70% commonality between the 105 and the 30 millimeter.